Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Dating despite parental disapproval. Yes or no? Let me know what you think in the comment section. It is for you. I always say that we give you the opportunity to share with us your views and your opinions in the comment section. It is always for you. So please, I'll be happy to see a few comments in there. You can also suggest any topic that you want us to delve into or look at. You're welcome to another episode of the Kiss and Tell Show with me, Evergreen Asante. On this episode, we are discussing would you date someone your parents disapprove of? And my guest for this episode is Loretta and Grandpa, both actors and more. You're welcome. Thank, Thank you. you. And more. Let me actually stay the more. It's actually the fact that I just found out that Loretta is a nurse. So when I'm sick, I know that I am going to be well taken care of. It's been a while. I missed you. <laughs> I missed you too. <laughs> and it's good to see you. Uh, good to see You're you. You're always too. looking good, though. You're always looking mm. good, though. Mm. Me too. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Am I blushing or like no, that's the truth, a little though. bit? Oh. <laughs> Grandpa. Yes, Antoine. Hi. It's been months now. Grandpa with the dimples. You see a dimple near. Shut down, but I can see it a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Sure, sure, sure. A wedding. Allah. <laughs> Uh, Bibi Abokor. Oh, by God's grace, Bibi Abokor. We are yes. still living and um, we are alive, so we give credit to God. Goodbye. So, during my intro, I said something. Dating despite parental disapproval. Is it a yes or a no for you, Loretta? Hmm. That's a tough one, though. Dating against parental approval. Will I proceed or I'll cancel it? I think I'll, I will, I will cancel it. I'll just step back. Yes, I believe um, our parents have four eyes. They foresee certain things that we don't see. So if I'm making a bold step and my parents or my mother tells me, this step you're making, I disapprove of it. Of course, I'll definitely step back regardless. Yeah. Why? Hmm. You know what was running through my mind or my head? I'm like, hey, namako buddha namabana yese, boy, you it's unacceptable. Yeah. What do you do? I think it's, it's the most difficult decision ever, especially when you're in love. But uh, for the sake of your mother or for the sake of your parents, you know, you just have to. Even the Bible talks about respect to mothers. There is no way you can ever disrespect your mother in a way that you are making a step she is or he is against you. In fact, even if the relationship leads to marriage, it's the same mother or there's the same father you have to go to do the traditional marriage or whatever with. And so at that point, I think they will all still disagree to it. So the earlier the better, you just have to stay away from it and then be free. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, Grandpa, what yeah. are your thoughts? Okay, thank you. Those um, in the comment section, you guys are doing a great job. Right. Kudos to you. Okay. Um, I always say, and that is always, this has always been my policy. In this school, in school of thought, we have two types. Hmm. We have the cardinalist there was and no the ordinary. Grandpa was going to start yeah. a sentence without sure, school of thought. Sure, that is it. Mm -hmm. um, she said she will reject it. Okay, right. let me let me come to the other side before going to her side. Um, I, for instance, I'm a very good cook. My mom taught me how to mm -hmm. cook. She taught me how to um, lay bed. She taught me how to respect somebody. She nurtured me to go to school. But nobody taught me how to kiss a lady. Nobody taught me how to... So which means that thing is very what sacred. Even the Bible says a man will leave his parents. It is a conditional clause. So which means even the decisions of your parents, you need to leave it. So a man will leave his parents, go for a lady. Then they will become one flesh come on you are fair i'm dark one flesh so it tells me that even no matter what happens when my mom disapproves of um my relationship fine your relationship with her is bullshit let's assume i visited um, um, loretta's parents whilst we are dining now my father 
I'm sorry. Obviously, this is a stupid red flag. And what will happen? No matter what happens, she will say, Hey, now, who can buy and wait me? I did not know for you, mommy. And you obey me, you did it, papa. Sometimes, manners, these things, no. One tray will be a. It will let the person's um, parent try to reject it. There might be red flag. Maybe to the um, maybe her parent might see say Loretta is not matured to be um, in a relationship. She's not matured to get married. I'm coming to her side now. For my um, with 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 the age limit, if someone is from 18 to like 24, no matter what happens, what. To, the, the parent bed and do this stuff. Oh, we need yeah. Having no school, school, you are now going to school. You need to go to the university. You need to get something before. So that side, it is understandable. But with my aspect, I will never because one, I'm I'm listening to the will of the Bible. I can ask my mama, I'm in Tinkoko Ware o Papa no, Oko Ware me Papa no, and our family, Ekas men Ware na. You know what? Um, do you know what might happen? I always respect um Sakodia and uh, his wife. This is because Tracy by then Sakwade wasn't having money. Do you think um in one or the other when me busu ya fua on be catch Tracy say ah na we be ma o be mo ye hu brand name maybe there might be business people who came over she rejected them and she focused on what Sakwade low and behold boom so sometimes when parents try to disapprove someone um they um they normally seek of now some parents are like this hey you, if you don't date someone who is not having money, I'll disown you. If you don't do this, date a TikTok guy. I don't know why we, the TikTok guys, our demand is so high. God, God bless you. Now, um, I always disdain this. <laughs> I'm an account. <laughs> there are some parents who are like, hey, never date an Ewe. Never date from this tribe. Never do this, never do that. It is very wrong. We have some accounts who are very bad. We have some fantasies who are very bad. Me, if my mom tells me that, hey, Kwabna, don't date from this tribe, I'll tell you that, man, you can't decide for me. I am the one who is entering into, I'm taking the risk. At the same time, my happiness is all what I want. You are deciding for me. What if I don't enjoy the lady that you want to give to me? So I'll tell you that, man, no. You can't, um, you, you can't play with my happiness. So, I will follow where my happiness is, and that is me. <laughs> hey, I asked her all. No matter. What's on your mind? I'm just thinking about what he's saying. One way or the other, he has a point. But did you did you find the reason why your mother or your father was objecting to this decision? the reason why he or she is saying they won't allow you to date because he made mention of tribal marriage or tribal relationship yes there are instances where parents will tell you do not marry into this out of experience they say that what is wrong what is which, wrong? Which one is wrong we have accounts who are recalcitrant we have someone from your tribe who are very stubborn so that is not true. Auntie, if you are making a decision and your parents tell you out of tribal, say I won't allow you to date her. Please respect it. Just respect it and live by your mother's rules. Because when you go and something happens, this is the mother you eventually come back to. And who is going to be by you? That is when you are seeking for people to apologize to your parents on your behalf because you 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 disobeyed them. So you too, you also disobeying the will of God. A man will leave his family. A woman will leave her family. Then to meet when there are millions of family. human out there. One family. They didn't say a man and his mother, his father will leave. No, he said a man will leave his family. Listen, your mother is not saying don't marry. She's saying, I disapprove this particular relationship. So make another decision. Move to another person until it continues. It's episodal. That is where you realize that your mother is not ready for you to even marry or settle. But why do you need to decide for someone at the first place? That's your mother for crying out loud. That She's your mother. That's where communication can come in. 
That is the reason why I asked you. Did you find out the reason why your mother is objecting to that decision? Yes, I found out. And what was her reason? And I realized her decision was vague. Oh, come on. Come on. There is no way a mother will just wake up and tell you, because of this reason, I don't want you to date this particular person. Their reasons are mostly you know valid. So, 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 um, some parents, they will tell me, hey, me, they tribe where I'm in myself, mama, then. And it's, it's a fact. True. Yes. I went, okay, if it's true, what effort did you also do? Sometimes we need to educate our parents on certain things. Mommy, back then, education. this was what it was going on. I now, did, did. we are living in a generation where people are changing. Sure. So at least, support me, let me make this decision. Yes. If it doesn't go well, of course, we know we tried. Then, you know, you've made a decision. Right. Here is the case, you are, okay, my mom is disapproving of it. Me, I'll make my own decision. Mommy, the Bible says I should marry. So, okay, go and marry. When anything happens, don't you dare come back to the house. And some Nothing parents also happen. say that. We are understanding. We'll continue. And some parents also say that. And then when things happen, right. that is when you realize that they are coming back with your faces. Me, if I'm a mother or if I'm a parent, I will just walk you out of my house. Because I told you, I didn't listen. Yes! Have you seen how I'm sweating? You walk me out. I would. That's my home. Your home. It's my husband's house. My father's home. Be there. Hey. <laughs> I am critical. Yeah, I'm Very blazing. Critical. I'm even sweating. Very I'm critical. blazing. Yeah. You know, these things are. Uh, it happens in a society that we live in. And I know a friend that went into that decision, that same situation scenario. She she dated this boy for like four years. And they wanted to get married, but then the mother was like, No, I don't want you to get married to him. The mother knew something, but she was hiding it from the girl. And to later part, she told the daughter, This is the reason why. When the lady got to know the reason why the mother was disapproving, she was like, Thank you, mommy. Because this guy had a genetic sickness. So, genetically, it's going to connect to your daughter or your child. Your child is going to connect. But you have no idea. The guy also hid it from you. So in that way, did your mother do you good or she did you bad? She did you good. Good. So sometimes there are certain things that we don't see. Our parents see it, but they don't want to open up to you because they believe when they do, you definitely go and tell that partner the secret. So me, for instance, if it happens to me, definitely I'll stick to my mom. Maybe I'll find out a reason why she's making that decision. And if it's valid, I will stick to her and move on. But Santo, I do know that sometimes when we follow our parents, sometimes you make the bitter decision you regret in our life and sometimes oh yes going back will be an For issue that... remember you are the one entering into the relationship okay relationship you are the one entering into the marriage at the end it's not your mother but it's you yeah. and i'm still elaborating on but it but sometimes again. you just have to make sure that you're assessing the situation or whatever he or she's saying yes be it your mother or your father w so that, that one, when okay. you go uh -huh. and it doesn't go on well you know that they I'm said fine. what they had to say but you yeah. made your choice so where you're getting to i understand but while you make your opinions open to us or clear on that i want us to also tell us how we can handle such situations parental okay. disapprovals okay uh, okay, thank you. Um, even that was what I was bringing initially when you were talking about it with parental yes. um, disapproval. Yeah, I, for instance, we call something communication. Communication is the transfer of information from one person to that other with the information being understood. The Bible says a soft voice melts a hard voice, and I'm elaborating on it again. A hard voice or a hard heart? The, a soft voice melts a hard heart. Yes, good, thank you. A soft voice melts a hard heart, which means no matter what happens, I will approach my mom. Mommy, please, this is the decision that I want to take. I want to marry this beautiful lady, Loretta, who will soon be a certified nurse. Yes, mommy. I thought you had a ring on. Yes, who will soon be a Grandpa. sweet. Wow, who will soon be a certified nurse. Oh no, I don't like it. I don't do that. I'll make sure she tries to say everything that she want to say. Mm -hmm. Then later, a soft voice, mommy. I'll try to say more of it. Yes, I know that maybe this tribe, this happened to this, this happened to this, and that happened to that. Now, mommy, please. I really love this lady. She has really helped me. I can never be ungrateful. Please, let me take this risk. I know, mommy, please. Trust me, since you love me, you said everything that I choose 
you be by my side. Please give me this chance. So when I tried and I see that still she's not giving up, I am this individual, I call it independent. I'll ask myself this question. Am I the one, um, I'll try to contemplate between my decisions. I'll ask myself, um, the step that I'm about to take, is it good or bad? Mm -hmm. I'll think of the advantages, I'll think of the disadvantages. They'll say, don't marry from this tribe. Yes, this tribe, Ibiom Tutupe, Ibiom Yesin, Ibiom Mumbadia, Ibiom Yesin. I'll compare when I come to the advantages. Yes, although this is it, but the lady Loretta always tells me that, Grandpa, when you get money, save it. Grandpa, yeah, do I, yeah, Grandpa, learn how to talk in public. Baby, when I come to your house, do this thing, do this thing, do that thing. I've seen that she's one in a billion. Mm. So, hence, what will I do? I'll definitely, Men. yes. Men. Men will show you. Pepe. You are serious. They will leave you on the desert without water. Mm. I'll drink the water for you, baby. Mm. I'll drink it. The water so, that you have to leave for her, you'll drink the water for her. We can drink her. our urine. <laughs> So maybe with this, for instance, no matter what happens here, I'll make my own decision. No. Mommy says she doesn't want Loretta. But immediately this lady came into my life. I've stopped taking her call. I've done this. I've done that. Which means when I marry her, it will help me. No matter what happens. That is what we call risk taking. It's either win or lose. In relationship? It doesn't matter. Risk taking in yes. relationship? In marriage, I will still take the risk. Uh, but you are saying a relationship. Let me tell you, even with your heart, with your lover, if you don't use kiss condom and you do raw, it's risk taking. You know the yeah, number of mm -hmm, mm -hmm, that has happened. So no matter what, even in the a relationship, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm speaking mumu Latin. Obi and say mumu Latin So break it down. You know the number of um, the ladies that he has met, because ladies say no matter what, your friend baby my friend, even just twenty minutes. The heat that can come in our body like me, you don't know. So all these things are risk. And I will take risk in my relationship or marriage if I'm worshipping the lady. Women, you need to be worshipped. Because in baby will have more by a baraboma a boy. Say I always say this thing. Sometimes eh, we always say, say You see oh, the way you are sweating. Yes, I need to sweat because I'm saying all these things from experience. Although I've not married, research. Now sometimes eh. We always say, say, about kwa repa. Obema so, e kwa repa. Now, I, 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 I always advise my ladies on this. When you are dating a, a man, eh, don't date a poor man. When you talk of poor, it's no resource. Now, you might be in a relationship with a lady, but when you see the person foresight, when you see the person vision, eh, you can see that when you take time in the next 10 years, you can have everything on your own. And that is what Tracy success to that is only been... with a man that has vision there are yes. some men that lack it regardless that yes. way he sought him and ran away he sought him and ran away what are you saying hey a man with no vision and your mom say hey kofi i'm a man by you so be no one way be a man one 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 please follow your man ask for that one follow your 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 your, your mother so it's you 100%. see in that aspect sorry in that aspect your mother has seen something you haven't seen i'll run hey now if a lady won't help me i'll run away but so you need to make the decision like what i was saying you need to make a vital decisions like you her marriage which marriage are you talking about future marriage please see eh, there is one thing that i always say that no mother or no parent will wish bad for their daughter or their, their son or their kids or and so with that principle i always move with it i believe that communication is also a matter but after the communication or during the communication your mother still insists that this thing you're doing is not for me do away with it are you still going to do it with risk taking in relationship where a lot is involved time resources finances physical, emotional, like a lot is invested in relationship. Why would you risk it for for four years relationship when you've been with that person? Emotional, trauma, physical, sexual, and at the end of the day, it doesn't go well with you. Now you've risked the whole three years. You could have used that three years for something profitable. So I don't, I don't understand why you want to say I will risk 
it's when it comes to relationship of course if it's business or something you would have you you all agree to that but when it comes to relationship or marriage or dating hell no i won't risk i will just walk away and move on to another man hmm. okay now let's let's end with balancing parental expectation with your own personal desires when you're dating people or someone the question again right now we are ending it how oh to balance God. comment said you please pay like give us more airtime so that kiss condom we can go nationwide then you do it one hour or more for you <laughs> kiss it's good uh -huh. the question again okay i'm saying that how do you balance or how can someone watching us balance parental expectation and then your personal desires when dating someone good and um, we call um something blending flexibility and um, strictness with flexibility if such thing happens for instance i've made up my decision my mom has made up um, her decision or my dad we are always saying my mom my mom my mom the father is they are stubborn no this is what i'll do i'll try to um go to an elderly person that she really respects it might be um pastor it might be someone vital in the family then i will um try to convey the information to him or her when that thing happens oh um maybe uncle this 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 is the decision that i've taken and my mom is objecting oh, okay i'm not maybe in our family this one did this thing that one did this thing this one is so sometimes the more they try to give you um the historic fact you can either decide to enter it or resist from it and i always say this thing no matter what happens you are the one entering into it not your family but sometimes when the red flags are more and uh you've seen some of the red flags you need to advise yourself like some of the ladies and it's true some ladies say if you date a man as a man you don't need to use your hand to beat women it's wrong we have hand him between our legs those are the natural hand you can use to beat a woman but some women they their husbands have been beating them all because it's big it's wrong please no break it down I, I, i'm confused i'm speaking in parables for this why would you speak in parables <laughs> no 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 the fact is that as a man as a responsible man as a normal man never try to beat a woman your hand in between your legs is what you need to beat your lady at night in bed because women man but there's a in baby woman no matter what no all my boys a woman all because of kubu they are still following that man it is red flag some ladies um their guys are punishing them the boys no elmo treated them immediately um she sees it um said them i but oh i might say oh yeah i come here say oh my baby make sure you don't try to always say good things to cover your partner no blend these things if your mom had seen say red flag no and yeah and if you've also seen her sit down assess yourself marriage is not two weeks so you visited in two days look at the number of fights you or uh, you guys always um, have look at the number of misunderstanding that you guys always have marriage is a lifetime so you need to sit down adjust all these two things what your parents are saying have you seen it no my mom said i know this person is no good but i've seen as i said loretta is someone that i need to worship i'll still worship her let me take this race and marry this lady because she, let me tell you sometimes eh, some ladies when they come into your life eh, everything of yours becomes successful no matter eh, and whether she's or yeah even it might be say loretta has been giving me money to give my mom but she doesn't know and yet you are disapproving her we see cardboard that so please if something happens adjust it take her advice take yours weigh it the one which will be more than the other and then you are, because care. i for instance i don't judge okay. i'm a human being i don't judge right. maybe your turn Loretta. okay um he has really said a lot you know um i think when this thing happens to any individual or any person you just have to as you said weigh between the advantages and the disadvantages um, if you think the disadvantages is overshadowing the advantages, um, you just have to speak to your mom, communicate with your mother, let her know the reason why you made that choice. 
if he she still insists on her decision, I think I'll just I'll just let it be. Yeah. Because I believe I believe she sees more than anything, and I I'm not ready to disrespect my mom, not for any reason, or my parents, not for any reason, and I'm not ready to take risk in relationship. If it was work or marriage, I'm ready. <laughs> but in relationship, I am not ready to take risk. So, yeah. okay. so the risk that I took today to with the slaps and the threats, these are risk from who? Them. Who are the them? <laughs> okay, right. your final words. Uh, my final word is that um, sometimes parents, <laughs> mothers, fathers, one, if you are dating somebody, please avoid tribal marriage. Is very bad. Me, I am. 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 Don't be disapproving. Say, eh, nswa me patiwo. Mutu ne funa kwanya mumbu no. No, okay. I think my last word is I'll I'll go for the mother and I'll go for the kids. I think um, mothers need to accept um, our partner regardless because it takes a lot. It takes a lot for us to even accept a guy or a woman in a relationship. And so I believe that our parents should accept whoever we bring to the house. But then, if they have a reason for that, I believe we need to respect our mother's decision. So. Okay, thank you for coming. But it's just unfortunate that this is going to be our last episode for season four of the Kisentel show. I know, I know, because I'm, I'm going right to miss now. you too. Oh yeah, seriously, seriously. <laughs> yeah, but then episode, um, no, season five, is coming soon so just solid. anticipate greatly for it but this is the final episode for season four season five full of practicals oh yes, yes. practicals mm -hmm. you say yeah yeah the email practicals okay okay <laughs> when is grandpa's then he will do it will yeah do our it, it, it's allowed right <laughs> okay so like i said this is the final episode for season four of the kiss and tell show and i want to use this opportunity to say that on behalf of dkt international and my myself we appreciate you so much for always subscribing liking commenting and even sharing our videos to your friends and your family we love you so much and we appreciate you please keep on supporting us because we see what you're doing for us and we appreciate you for that and also a special thank you going out to pokey house located at airport residential area for giving us this beautiful space to have this great um season as a matter of fact we appreciate them as well and to you out there who is also contributing one way or the other we appreciate you to my entire team and the crew guys you're too much i love you all and i appreciate you so we are going to meet in season five stay safe Bye. We love you too. Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah.